Hello everyone, I'm Jian Chung Math, and in this video, we're looking at dividing fractions. To get us started, we're going to look at this division problem, 15 divided by 3. One way to consider this is to ask the question, how many 3's are there in 15? Well, let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So there are 5, five threes in 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And we're going to look at 1 divided by 1 fourth in the same way. How many 1 fourths are there in 1? Well, let's see, let's look at that with a picture. Let's say I have one pizza, and I divide it into fourths. How many fourths are in that one pizza? One, two, three, four. One divided by one fourth is equal to four. Now let's say we wanted to ask the question, what is seven? divided by one-fourth. Well, again, we're just simply asking how many one-fourths are there in seven? Well, we see there are four-fourths in one. One divided by one-fourth is four. So each of these, each of these ones, and there are seven of them, is going to have four fourths. So I divide one by one fourth, I'm going to get four. Two will give me eight fourths. And if I continue that, I see each whole is going to have four fourths. So I'm going to have seven times four, or seven divided by one fourth is 28. Let's, uh, Maybe look at a couple, couple more and make sure we have the idea. So next question for you is, what is 8 divided by 1 fifth? Well, first think, how many fifths are in 1? So if I'm doing 1 divided by 1 fifth, I'm asking, how many fifths are there in 1? Well, here we're asking how many fifths are there in 8. Well, there are going to be 5 fifths in 1, and now I have 8 ones, and each of those will have 5 fifths. So 8 divided by 1 fifth is 40. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern here of how we're figuring that out. Um, let's, we can erase this one now. Um, let's ask how many, let's see, let's do uh, 6 divided by uh, 1 third. So what are we asking? How many thirds are there in 6? Well, how many thirds are in one whole? Well, there will be three. One divided by one third is three. So each of these six holes will have three thirds. And we have six of them. So we have six times three, or there are 18 thirds in six. Six divided by one third is 18. So What's happening here? Hopefully you're realizing if we're dividing a whole number by a fraction with a numerator of 1, there's, there's a pattern here. I'm going to write it one more time here in the algebraic form, uh, because that's part of uh, this, this standard in 6th grade. So how many, let's say I'm doing um, A, I'm doing, and we'll say A is a whole number, divided by 1 over, let's say, C. 
So, what's that asking? How many 1Cs are there in A? Well, remember, C could be 2, so we're talking about halves, or it could be a 5, we're talking about fifths. Well, let's think about this. If uh, we're doing 1 divided by 1 over C, well, we see that there are going to be C, 1 C's in 1. C, yeah, so it's kind of hard to say. Anyway, so there are going to be C of these in each 1, and if we have A of them, we're going to be multiplying A times C. So A divided by 1 C, or 1 C is equal to A times C. All right, hopefully you understand about dividing whole number by fraction with 1 in the numerator. The next part we'll talk about, well, what happens if uh, the numerator isn't 1. Thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Say Jim.